Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. And guess what? I am back. I'm back for more, one more week of QuickBooks education. And today I had a special request from my client. Um, I do have a lot of videos on undeposited funds and how to fix it, but I don't have one specific on how to deal with well, I should say I have a lot of videos on cash transaction that goes through on deposited funds, but I don't have one on square cash transactions. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. So especially for some of you that deals with cash and credit card, uh, we're going to talk to you about how to, how to uh, record those transactions in QuickBooks Online and how to properly record when you actually deposit in the bank. So you're not duplicating those uh, transactions. All right, so without much further ado, we are going not to QuickBooks because I had to do a PowerPoint on this one. <laughs> okay, here we go. We can't go on the simple account with this. So here we have our um, PowerPoint. So cash transactions with Square. So when you actually record those transactions in Square. All right. Okay. So, uh, Claudia, so what do I do when I have um, cash transactions in Square and I record it? So, first of all, you're going to go to App Transactions and we're going to recognize what are those cash transactions? How do we recognize them? So, we're going to go to App Transactions. To get to App Transactions, you're going to click on Banking and then on the very top, you have the option for App Transaction. You want to click on that App Transaction and those are the transactions sitting there for us to be accepted. So, with the new App Integration, the transactions are not automatically added. You actually have to look at them and then add and then match it in banking. Remember, there's a whole process to that. We have several videos on that. Um, now, with credit card transactions, once you add those transactions here, it's going to match in banking. But the, with, with the cash transaction or other transactions, such as third-party apps and stuff like that, it's not going to go to the bank because you're going to receive payment on another, in another manner, right? And you're going to may deposit to the bank for that amount, may deposit for a different bank, and may not deposit at all. So, all right, we're going to deal with the situation when you do deposit the bank, but of course, there's other options as well. So under the description, can you see card transaction? Card transaction is going to uh, to the bank. And where it says other transaction or cash transactions, when you don't have other transactions, just cash and credit card, that's going to say cash, cash transactions. All right, so this customer has more than just that. So that's why it shows like that. So that's what I wanted you to see. Okay, now when you open this transaction, right when it's cash says other transaction you will be see, be able to see what kind of transaction that is and it's going to say undeposited cash or check so it could be cash or check so it's going to be right there described as cash or check now with quickbooks integration there is an error and i want you to be uh, aware of that sometimes it's a credit card transaction but there's cash transactions there's something that says undeposited cash check and uh, for a certain amount. When that happens, watch the video that I recorded last time because I teach, I teach you how to fix it. You actually have to go into the deposit and unselect that cash transaction so you can find the match in banking. All right. Okay, but anyhow, I'm going to put the link on the, of that video in here. But for these transactions, this is just cash. And once I add this transaction, okay, should go to undeposited payment. As I mentioned to you, type of payment will be under description. It will say other transaction or cash. All right. Okay, now once you add the transaction, once you add that cash transaction, then you're going to have to click on the plus new and go into bank deposit because it will record as undeposited funds. And in order to find those undeposited funds, 
you click on plus new and then bank deposit they're gonna be all on deposited funds will be sitting on the bank deposit waiting for you to record the deposit so m many of you may have may see like a, an astronomical amount of undeposited funds you don't know how to fix it so to first of all those transactions are trans payments that were recorded correctly because that's the workflow of QuickBooks. So you send it to undeposited funds, but waiting for you to record the deposit once it is deposited into the bank. But anyhow, so you will, on, under the fourth row, uh, uh, row here, you, you're gonna click on bank deposit. And this is what you're gonna see, okay? Uh, bank deposit, you're gonna record those transactions into Patty Cash or Cash Bank either one so cash bank do not deposit this in the bank especially if you don't you're not depositing that exact amount into the bank so that the cash or petty cash it will be a transitory account so you're just putting into the cash recording the sale into the cash account but then you're going to transfer that money into the the checking account once you actually go to the bank and and um and deposit that okay very important here when you're recording a bank deposit you want to make sure that the account is correct see that the account here says petty cash um if you click on on the arrow next to it you have several bank options you want to make sure you have the right one and the date has to be right here is not right because you see on the next slide that i actually changed it okay so you want to select the transaction for whatever date so you you don't want to select everything at the same time if it has different dates because that's gonna kind of mess up your cash account it's gonna be hard to reconcile if you want to reconcile the cash account which you should <laughs> okay so we're gonna go to the next one make sure the bank account is changed like I said and the date is correct so I corrected in this one look at this <laughs> okay July 10th okay square customer all right and for $129 so once I, I click save and close or save and new, usually I put save and new because this way I can keep doing um, until I'm done with all the deposits here. And then once it's done, save and close. See on the bottom of the page here, on the bottom right hand side, that's where you have <clears throat> the save. So you gotta, you gotta select the transaction and you gotta make sure that the account is right, the date is right. And then you save and you or save and close okay all right so once you deposit that if you go to if you click on ch uh, chart of accounts and then you click on the petty cash or cash bank and click on view register you will be able to see all the transactions um, and, and and that's gonna show as a withdrawal out of cash did I go too fast no. <laughs> when money is deposited into the bank account, it should be categorized as transfer from cash. Okay, I skipped one, one thing here. This is very, very important. So when you actually see this in the bank, right, uh, and you're going to categorize in the bank, you go and you deposit the money, you do not record that as sales. And I'll tell you why. Because this sale is already recorded, my friend, and it's recorded into the petty cash account. So what you're going to do once, once that money is actually physically deposited into the bank account, you're just going to categorize as a transfer and the money's coming out of petty cash because that's where you deposit, the, the, uh, that's where you recorded the deposit, where, where you recorded where the money, the sale uh, went to. If you actually categorize as sales, like I said, you're duplicating that sale, okay? All right, so this is what you see uh, once you uh, accept the transaction in, in banking. So you're gonna go to banking, you're gonna record that transaction as a, um, as a transfer, okay? Click on the transaction, record as a transfer, and once you accept it, you can go to categorize transaction, that's how you're gonna see it. All right, so when you go to the register, this is the slide that I was talking about. So you're gonna go to chart of accounts and then you're gonna go to petty cash, view register. This is what you're gonna see, okay? So you're gonna see money in and out of, out of cash. 
So whenever you see deposit, those are the deposit we recorded into the cash account. And whenever you see the payment, it means those, uh, those transactions have been transferred out of cash into the checking account, okay? All right, so I hope that this was useful to you. Um, I, I know that there's a lot of questions in regards to how to deal with cash, with Square. Um, there, like I said, there has been some issues in regards to the cash or the credit card transaction mixed up with cash, and I do have a video on that. So, all right, so hopefully this was useful to you, especially for you guys who use Square and who, who record cash transaction, transactions in Square and don't know what to do with those transactions. So this is what you do. It goes into um, undeposited funds and then you have to record it into the cash account. Once you record into the cash account and you see and you go to the bank and you deposit that money and you see that on banking, what you want to do is to record it as a transfer. Okay, very important. And then finally, <laughs> you want to reconcile. You want to reconcile the checking account and the cash account to make sure that everything is accounted for. Checking account, you're going to have a regular bank statement. For the cash transaction, you can take a look at your uh, uh, square report, your summary report, and you're going to see all the, the, the summary of cash transactions. What was your total cash transaction? Um, and you also see if you want to do a, uh, item by item, you can see all the cash transactions paid with cash as well. So you can modify the reports into Square, just verify the transactions paid with cash. And, and that report will be the report that you can use to reconcile your cash, your Square cash account. All right, so um, hopefully this was useful to you. Like I said, this is the kind of information you don't actually find anywhere, right? <laughs> you're not going to find that on your college class, on your university class. You're not going to find that under training, under QuickBooks training or anything like that. This is pretty much what we do every day, though. We encounter this information every day. I want to make your life easier, so that's why I share with you. Yeah, because I've been there. <laughs> I had questions before, and, um, you know, after working for a long time and specializing in, in Square and app transactions, um, I'm sorry, in app integration with QuickBooks, uh, so we are here to share my knowledge. You know, I did the research. I learned it, and I'm sharing with you today. <laughs> and I'll continue doing that every week. Now, if you like this video, if you want to see more of, of this kind of education, just support us by giving a thumbs up to our videos or write a comment down below. Um, if you want to share with your friends and with your coworkers, uh, just go ahead and share with your with the world, with your classmates, everybody. <laughs> we want to make your life easier, help you understand and, and uh, do your job um, without having to stress out. What, what do I do when this happens? <laughs> okay, so I'm answering those questions. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time and spending this time with me today. I hope to see you next week. And until next time, keep on smiling.